Hi everybody, welcome to EduTap and also welcome to the another lecture on a government scheme which can be important from the examination perspective on, on what basis am I saying so because if any scheme that is in news that becomes important from the examination perspective and that is what we are going to cover today one such scheme so today we are going to cover national action for mechanized sanitation ecosystem in short form it's namaste okay so we are talking about namaste scheme and why will we study about it we are going to study about it because recently I would not say but uh, as in like recent recent but yes last month only it's not even a month I would say on 20th December this particular scheme was in news where the details of the scheme was specified again all right so you can understand if any scheme has been in that to in press information bureau very in detail has been comprehensively covered so it is better it will be good if we can understand about the scheme to uh, for the uh, for the examination purpose right so we are going to understand the components as well which can be asked in the examination but before that here's an announcement for all the aspirants who are preparing for central regulatory bodies we have come up with one stop solution guide to all the queries that you must be having regarding the organization you would want to join right so it covers maximum of the things for example you would want to know about the organization you would uh, would want to know about the role of the designation you would uh, you would join in right apart from that you would want to know hierarchy right that those things have been covered along with that all about the recruitment process how many phases are there what is the pattern of each phase and uh, what is the syllabus what is the previous year cut off trends and all that information now has been added in these uh, e guidebooks at the end we have given some steps which you can follow on your own if you want to go for self preparation these steps will help you to uh, guide during the journey all right so this was about it and you can download these e guidebooks which are free of cost from the link that is provided in the description box below all right now if you talk about this scheme so we are talking about mechanization right we are basically talking about adding machines mechanization means introduction of machines right under this particular system first of all we have to understand that for which particular section is it targeting right so this namaste scheme it is targeting the people who are engaged in the sanitation worker as you can see here okay so uh, this is known as manual scavenging right why how this world has derived scavengers you must have heard these are you know natural living birds right it, they exist naturally in the world and these scavengers they feed on the dead organism right so how they were they, so what they were doing because they were feeding on the dead environment uh, that organism uh, because of that they were actually cleaning the environment right so because similarly uh, the people engaged in the sanitation in India they are cleaning out the work that is it was that is why they are known as man man scavengers okay now what happened in India was legally now man manual scavenging is banned why because as you can see they are directly in contact with the fecal uh, that uh, that is present in these uh, in these areas right and which is definitely hazardous right if anybody is in direct contact with the fecal matter so the the bacteria the the diseases everything they are in direct contact with it right and it is also it also causes lungs problem because there in such areas the gases production is also a lot right because the fecal matter it will get decomposed gas will be formed right so all this is actually uh, and in fact in in today's time if you see it's very inhumane to have you know people get directly engaged with this work right and it is legally banned also so so why is it still prevalent in India okay so there are many reasons right three important reason we will focus on right first of all is what uh, people uh, in India because we are still a developing country if you look at it we are still developing right so there are three major factors the first one being that people do not have proper jobs right so the people who are poor right or who are, who are in the poverty they are ready to do any job right they are even able to uh, they are even ready to do this work because they would be getting some money instead of it right and they can run their family right or even they can sustain themselves or their family right so fun thing is about the poverty that is still exist second is about the lack of mechanization right machines are not that much for example if if I have to compare right even in agriculture we are focusing a lot on mechanization but if you compare to the farmers abroad they are pretty much well equipped right they are uh, the government got their back right and now even they are so much prosperous that they can buy their own 
uh, implements also but it is still in progress in india government has to come up with the schemes to introduce the machines in agriculture sector right or even to promote them right similarly what happened in this case also uh, even though the particular job was banned but nothing was done by the government they were focusing on other factors because there is a lot of factors that have to be focused on in india so what they did they kept this particular factor at low priority because of that there were no proper machines no pro proper uh, equipments for the even the people who are engaged in this particular sanitation work even no uh, care of their proper providing them with proper equipments and stuff right so there were because of lack of this then what the people will do right if there are no machines available of course people only would have to engage in this one right and the third one being that is very important is about this uh, hierarchical or you can say this generational work it is considered as a generational work we know that in india still caste exists right and uh, in this uh, particular case what happened it was kind of a you can say general norm was made or you can say it kind of mandatory it went or it was kind of obvious that a person who is engaged in manual scavenging the, the their generations will be engaged in this only right so it was kind of a you know societal mindset has been made and even in the mindset of people also uh, the people engaged in manual scavenging that was made right now because of this reason what happened this activity is still going on in india right which is very very inhumane right so now to prevent this or to you know tackle this problem namaste scheme was introduced uh, with the aims of uh, the, the the same thing only the problems were there right so now the aim is to reduce this or to have the opposite of this so what can be the this first one being the sanitation ensure that the sanitation workers safety and dignity is considered like their dignity is prioritized right and their safety is prioritized to equip them uh, equip them, uh, them with proper equipment okay and uh, also to provide sustainable livelihood right to to have them you know such environment even if they are engaged in sanitation working at least providing them with good environment in there and also enhancing their occupational safety right now even in many mnc you must have observed that they provide uh, the medical insurance to the employees right but here in this case nothing is happening because this is an informal sector right so to have that occupational safety also how it can be achieved by providing them with well equipments right and also through capacity building capacity building is skill development that whoever who is a skilled worker who know how to handle such situation like how to hang handle uh, uh, if something happens in the potholes right or maybe how to properly handle the fecal matter so that it does it is not in direct contact with you uh, with the sanitation worker right and all these right whatever skills that needs to be in the in this particular sector that has to be done right and to improve access to the proper gear and machine dekho even if you introduce machine people will be required to operate them right at least but they will not be in the direct contact with the uh, with the fecal matter right so first thing about that people who are engaged they should be uh, uh, provided that dignity and safety okay so that was the first case that we understood second case is to provide them access to the alternative livelihood support they have they should have other options as well it should not be a generational thing if somebody wants to move out of this system they should have a fair chance okay they should have a fair chance to uh, to have even if they want to go for self employment even they want to go for some another uh, opportunities right this intergenerationality in sanitation work has to be uh, you can say reduced or eradicated right and the lastly it is also about bringing a behavioral seen among the citizens toward the sanitation worker because the dignity of them can only be achieved if people are sensitive about it people should also know that they are also humans and in fact they are the one who are cleaning up your mess right so it is very important to create that behavioral changes among citizen also about the sanitation worker and uh, you can imagine like if a person if a citizen is demanding that no i want safe sanitation service the government or maybe whoever is engaged in this particular section in this particular uh, job you can say they will be forced to provide with safer sanitation services and that is why it's kind of a you know directly a direct indirect impact on the sanitation workers as well they will be given those safety 
gears right so these are the three things that that, that is the aim of this first of all whoever is engaged they, their proper dignity and safety should be maintained another is to provide them access to alternate uh, the livelihood opportunities and then to be, uh, bring the behavioral change among the students okay uh, then uh, the scheme was launched in 2022 with this intention talking about the ministry that it falls under all right so basically it's a the collaboration of two uh, two ministries one is ministry of social justice and empowerment how we are providing social justice we are providing social justice to the sanitation workers by uh, focusing on the safety as well as their dignity okay by maintaining their dignity so ministry of uh, social justice and usually where there are you know potholes they exist usually in the urban areas and that is why collaboration has done with the ministry of housing and urban affairs right however the scheme falls under these two collaboration of these two ministry but there is a specific implementing agency that has been established that will especially focus on this task right so what is this uh, implementing agency it is your national safai karmachari financial development cooperation okay so in examination full form might be asked right so you uh, have to keep in mind the whole name okay so memorize the whole name that is your national safai karmachari okay so safai karmachari is nothing but your sanitation worker safai karmachari karmachari is your worker okay safai we are talking about cleanliness over here we are talking about sanitation worker okay so national sanitation worker financial development cooperation okay so we have to develop them right so financial development cooperation is the implementing agency the scheme was launched in 2022 and it is expected till now that it 25 26 it will run and with the budget to 360 crore okay 360 crore is there objective is kinder kya kya attain hoga so whatever now we have studied na it is that only that is there right first of all the aim would be to provide safety ensuring occupational safety right this that was the aim so basically under the scheme zero uh, fatalities in sanitation work in india will be taken care of that nobody no sanitation worker dies because of the this work that they do right and all the sanitation work should be performed by skilled workers right so there are less chances of getting disease right and uh, no direct contact with human fecal matter will be taken into consideration under that okay apart from that they will be given options to have access to alternative livelihood opportunities okay and uh, proper so, uh, for example we just discussed right that it is banned in india but it is still being done right that is why when the scheme has been launched and is being implemented it will be properly supervised and monitored at national level also state level also and urban local body level also to ensure that whatever be the objectives of the scheme are are they being properly followed or not or it just you know just like another scheme that has come and it is uh, it's not having its impact it should not be like that okay and ultimately is also about increasing awareness among the sanitation service seeker also okay to seek services from registered and skilled sanitation worker again the thing that we talked about na to have that jan andolan to to aware to have that to sensitize people also because if they will demand quality the people who are engaged in this particular sake of uh, in this job they would have to uh, provide that right because they are the service provider that is why it is had been said awareness among the seekers also so that they demand that no i want only those sanitation worker who are properly equipped and they they are properly skilled right so the service provider are forced to provide such condition right and at the end when we are talking about you know that alternatives will be provided so here because they are related to you know they know more about like sanitation and stuff right so even if they want to run any sanitation uh, enterprises in that case what can be done they can be you know collect Collective uh, wise in self-help groups. Self-help groups are is a you can say group of people, uh, and they belong to usually same financial background, and uh, they have this aim, you know, to to collectively to do something better. And uh, with the same, SSGs can be formed, will be formed of uh, these uh, the. सैनिटेशन वर्कर्स एज वेल ठीक है अब कुछ की फीचर्स क्या है स्कीम के कुछ की फीचर्स ये हैं बिकॉज देखो इट कैंट बी लाइक एट वन गो ओनली ऑल अक्रॉस द नेशन द स्कीम कैन बी इम्प्लीमेंटेड राइट दैट इज वाई करेंटली द सिटीज द अमृत सिटीज द फाइव हंड्रेड अमृत सिटीज जो है आपकी होंगी दे विल बी फर्स्ट यू नो देयर दिस पर्टिकुलर स्कीम विल बी लॉन्च एंड देन स्टेप बाई स्टेप ग्रेजुअली ऑल अक्रॉस इंडिया दैट विल बी डन राइट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट वॉट इज द एम वी हैव अंडरस्टूड राइट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट वट विल बी 
be done these whoever be the people who are engaged in this sewer uh, sewer or a septic tank uh, these work okay they will be focus uh, they, they will be identified okay whoever in simple terms if i have to say whoever are engaged in this informal workforce what is the difference between wo formal for workforce and informal workforce in informal there are no rules and regulation that is why the people the workers engaged in informal sector they are exploited but in formal sector for example mnc wherever you are doing job currently there are certain rules you get some leaves right you can get some financial monetary benefits and all that thing right Th that is the formal workforce so aim under the government is to identify these workers who are engaged in this informal workforce right uh, so that uh, then another steps can be taken and what are the another steps they are saturated they are uh, linked with the social security scheme benefits right first they will be identified and then they will be told about the benefits that they can take from government for example there are various social security schemes there is atal pension yojana which they can be part of there are two uh, life insurance uh, we have one jeevan jyoti bima yojana right apart from that uh, we have uh, suraksha bima yojana there are various social security schemes that are running on uh, the ayushman and bharat yojana right and all these workers will be uh, aware about these particular programs uh, so that they can take benefit of it right so in this we have understood that what will happen uh people who are engaged they will be equipped with proper equipments right apart from that if they want to go for another livelihood that can be done and apart from that awareness among the people will be made right now for the equipments to get proper tool, tools and equipments uh, and along with that if somebody wants to go for self employment maybe they want to go for sanitation enterprise right but they would be requiring money right and you can imagine the conditions are like such that they have they are forced to work like a manual uh, scavenger right so they do not have money right so this financial assistance for this financial assistance government is going to help how is it going to help there are two factors right one is about whenever for example a project cost is x right one is to helping some part some uh, portion of it right another being if the person is going for loan so for that loaning on that loaning some assistance is provided i will explain you again for better understanding the first one so there are two type of financial assistance that will be there the first one first let's understand it talks about the financial assistance in the rate of interest government is saying that whenever a person who is a beneficiary of namaste scheme he is going up uh, going up to take loan for a project okay so if that loan if that project is up to 1 lakh rupees if that project is how much it is up to 1 lakh rupees in that case government say that the bank can only charge 5% and in case of women beneficiary only 4% the banks can charge okay and if the project is above 1 lakh in that case is rate of interest uh, the maximum rate of interest that the uh, bank should charge or can charge is 6% only right however this is not the case whenever you go for loan the loan are usually in double digit it can be 11% it can be 12% it can be even more than that this depends from bank to bank right so now bank would would not want to have any loss right that is also the case right why would bank would want to do any charity because they are there for business right so government has said that banks from their end will charge only 5% in case of project up to 1 lakh and 4% in case of women beneficiaries and if the project is above 1 lakh 6% is the criteria they do not they have not mentioned in the official guideline anything about the women beneficiary right so in that case what will be done in that case whatever be the over and above rates that will be there for example if 11% is the case so the difference is how much 6% is the difference right this over and above rate will be bear by the central government okay this is known as interest subvention in the interest in this rate of interest whatever be the adjustment that is done by the central government that is known as your interest subvention okay so 5% up to 1 lakh in case of women beneficiary 4% and in case of project up to 1 lakh us case mein kitna hoga 6% theek hai i hope you have clarity till now ठीक है एंड हियर द मैक्सिमम रीपेमेंट पीरियड इंक्लूडिंग द मोरेटोरियम पीरियड ऑफ सिक्स मंथ्स मे बी फाइव ईयर ठीक है for project cost up to 5 lakh and up to 7 uh, above 5 lakh what does it mean what is this moratorium period imagine if i have taken loan for some any business it is not going to be like that from the next month only i'm going to get profit no it will take some time you know for me to establish the enterprise to have some 
selling done right that is why moratorium period is that time period where you do not have to pay anything back to the bank okay so here in this case it is how much it is six months okay and it's been said that if the project costing is up to five lakh in that case uh, the overall time period will be five years uh, to give back the loan okay and this also includes this five years also includes this moratorium period which will be of six months what does it mean so for six months you don't have to pay anything and then in the rest 4.5 years you would have to pay back the loan if you have taken up the uh, loan till five lakh uh, means for the project cost till five lakh okay and if you have taken above five lakh loan in that case you will get seven years including the moratorium period so what does it mean six months you do not have to pay anything and for the rest 6.5 years you would have to pay everything right that was the interest subvention the financial assistance or adjustment in the interest of the loan that has been taken by the beneficiary another is what another is the capital subsidy now what is it for example i my project cost uh, my, my pro, i have made a project for myself uh, in which I, i have to invest x amount of money right then i went to the bank and i took some loan where y percent interest was uh, चार्ज बाय मी ठीक है अब ये जो था द वट एवर एडजस्टमेंट दैट वॉज डन ऑन द इंटरेस्ट रेट दैट वॉज माई इंटरेस्ट सबवेंशन राइट बट देन वॉट इज कैपिटल सब्सिडी कैपिटल सब्सिडी इज दैट दिस इज माई एक्स अमाउंट ना इफ गवर्नमेंट इज फाइनेंशियली हेल्पिंग मी विथ सम ऑफ दिस अमाउंट फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई हैड हंड्रेड रुपीज का मेरा कोई प्रोजेक्ट था गवर्नमेंट सेट दैट ओके वी विल पे यू फिफ्टी रुपीज सो फिफ्टी रुपीज हम अपने एंड से दे देते हैं वी विल गिव यू फिफ्टी रुपीज एंड देन रेस्ट फिफ्टी रुपीज यू manage yourself this is known as capital subsidy to helping financially helping with the project cost theek hai so that was interest service subsidy was on the loan that you have taken capital subsidy is financial help whatever be the cost of your project some percent of it it is funded by the government that is what that is your capital subsidy theek hai ab isme kya kya de rakhi hai jaise up to if the project cost is up to 5 lakh rupees okay in that case 50% of the project cost will be bear by whom will be bear by the government only theek hai if it is 5 to 15 lakh in that case 2.50 lakh so there is a cap plus 25% of the remaining project cost that will be there theek hai and uh, for group projects this was for the individual group project mein aapke kitna kitna hai same as advisable for individual but there is a cap also that has been kept because you can't give like infinite percent right 50% would be very a, a lot if somebody is like have 1 crore or 2 crore of project right of that 50% will be very much that is where there's a cap also that has been kept right but i hope you got the difference between the capital subsidy as well as the interest subvention that was all about the scheme then again this was the news as you can see about the namaste scheme uh, the def, uh, details were written and uh, this is a homework for you all try to attempt it and uh, that is all in this video if you have any doubt any query do ask me i'll reply and uh, if you want me to cover any scheme do let me know i'll make a session on that and uh, yeah that's it i can see a comment by is bank pnb as well as cdsu can see dronacharya i'm sorry mk i did not get what you are asking uh, what you can do you can write it down comment it down i'll reply to that but currently it's like i don't think that is even related to the scheme that we did however it was i and i failed to understand i apologize for that uh, you can ask me uh, kinera it will be provided to the uh, to the people organization who will be providing the services right but if i were a sanitation worker and then i want to switch my career right and i want to you know get involved in the services then i can also get the benefit all right i hope i hope the doubt is clear okay so that is all in this video thank you everybody for watching and uh, do the homework and uh, study well we'll meet again with another video